Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're working on AZW SSD. Before we jump into the repair, let me show you how this thing is acting up. Powering it on, all lights and the registries light up like a Christmas tree, indicating that there is a problem with the circuit board. This SSD had traveled through some places before we ended up here and the label on the back side was showing quite a bit of heat exposure. So that made me think that there is something going on with the controller. If you pay attention to how this controller is sitting right now, we'll compare it to what it needs to sit like later side by side and the problem will be quite evident. So whoever worked on it first decided to heat up the controller possibly thinking that it will help the situation and when it got heated up so much it got nudged out of its position something must have been short underneath because after reflowing this even without reball this component reseated itself and now it's sitting perfect if you look at side by side pictures right now you'll see the difference the silk screening on the left hand side is not even visible where on the right hand side you can clearly see it I can't believe it guys. I um, was getting all the power uh, on the board going to the right places 2.5, 1.2, 3.2. Everything was seemed to be running good. Um, the only thing I noticed the controller was kind of sitting slightly crooked. I uh, flipped it around and I noticed that the sticker was also burnt so my first um, intuition was sort of like somebody tried to fix it by hitting the uh, a controller up which I don't know where this idea comes from that that's how you are supposed to fix it but anyways so uh, the controller previously was heated up to a point where it was just not uh, getting connected it was not linking up through the pads on there I just reflown it and um, both of the LEDs went off um, which is getting the green LED on the adapter but the board itself um, over on this side has uh, LEDs, three sets, and all of them would light up red. Um, I never seen this device before, and honestly, I had such hard time trying to locate a donor. I was kind of thinking that maybe there's something wrong on a controller level, um, that um, I went ahead and uh, tried to find one online. In order to get this solved, guys, I was looking for uh, a donor already. I searched online everywhere yesterday, so AZW is like, not a really common brand, um, but there is a listing on eBay that a uh, guy sells a bunch of them and that was from 128 gig listing. I noticed on this picture that most of them, they have these green boards with two chips close to the controller and the controller is Maxil, if you can see here. So it's not even a SM2259XT like what we have. Uh, so all of these green boards, they would have been totally useless for us, but this one caught my eye and that's exactly what we have. Even though it's a 128 gig revision, having this uh, in stock would have allowed me to just simply take these two chips off, swap the failed ones uh, from the SSD that the client brought in, and be done with it. Uh, after several messages uh, being exchanged between the seller and myself, uh, we came to realization that this piece right here uh, is the only piece that was offered for sale online right now, and he already had sold it. So I wouldn't been able to pick up a donor. Right now, we hit power and instantly we get ready status. So if I go into universal utility just to see uh, whether or not our device is here. Utility forms, we got one gigabyte capacity. Seems like we have our safe mode turned on. Let's turn this off for a second. And I would like to show you something. So during my research, I was like, okay, what could it be? So um, the controller would throw up all these lights. So in order to test it further, I wanted to see 
if uh, by putting it in a safe mode, I would be able to uh, get some sort of recognition from the controller, which is what we're getting right now. SM59 XT2A recognition and the passport information on PC3000 right now uh, is what the controller gets recognized as. But if you look up here in the corner, I put a jumper between these two points here. All right, so that initiates our safe mode. So let me check this off. So I'm just gonna grab my soldering iron real quick. I'm gonna stick this thing right back. fire up and we still get ready signal and if we refresh the passport we get uh, 256 recognized guys this is uh, what we should have been dealing with at the start we got a boot sector and if we scroll somewhere in like 100,000 range we're gonna see some data so at this point what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna uh, pull up a blank unit and start disk imaging process because uh, the data is now going to be saved. I knew that this was an easy case right at the start, but uh, exactly what was causing this issue, I couldn't really uh, put my finger on it. We can just fire up imaging. Yeah, a beautiful, beautiful imaging process has started. Uh, running a little slow, but I'm not sure really why that is could be uh, several reasons. 50 megabytes per second isn't exactly slow. Uh, we're gonna have a full image in about an hour and a half at most. Um, but let's see if we can cut our time down by uh, checking out what type of um, setup it had. So it looks like this was a Windows drive. There are these small partitions here. Um, maybe we can just clone what is used uh, in terms of uh, instead of um, cloning the whole thing so this drive has 76 79 uh, 77 gigs of data um, whether we just clone that or clone everything at, at this point doesn't make any difference really in terms of time um, so I'm just gonna continue cloning the entire unit out uh, in about an hour this thing will be all duplicated and ready to go back to the client so um, yeah, I don't, <laughs> this is one of those cases where I, I really don't know what the reason for the damage was. And um, I'm just glad that I was able to spot uh, the crooked controller. Uh, sometimes we do get uh, devices that come in from uh, multiple attempts at being recovered, repaired. And uh, some of these attempts, when they're done wrong, obviously they could be more, uh, doing more harm to the unit than good. In our case, hopefully it's not going to have any significant impact, um, it, but things could have really gone sideways if, uh, let's say, that controller shifted so much, power landed on the ground, something would have fried, uh, if the, one of the NANDs got fried, goodbye to the data, uh, things like that, guys. So you really have to be uh, careful with uh, who uh, you let to do your work. And um, first of all, doing the work yourself. I don't want to discourage anybody from doing any types of data recovery or trying to research what's going on with your device. I welcome that. Um, but there is a certain merit to how far you should go if the data is important. You can practice all you want on devices that um, are uh, donors to see if your theory on how you're going to repair it is going to apply. But the biggest problem I see is that most of the uh, self-attempts that take place 
don't know how to properly troubleshoot, how to properly diagnose uh, the issues. They think uh, m most people, a lot of people tend to think that just by going online and seeing a bunch of different techniques and trying them, applying them one by one to uh, um, resolve your issue will eventually uh, end up landing that correct option that you needed to choose and uh, get you access to the data, but it's not exactly so. Most of the time, by attempting these multiple different things that you find online, uh, like somebody recommended some software and you attempted to run it, somebody just recommended to swap the board and you attempted to do that, somebody uh, recommended to move chips and you broke the chip while attempting to do that because you never done it before. These are the sorts of things that could potentially part you with the data forever. And uh, before you take on any sort of attempt, Take a, take a minute, think about it, and um, come to an understanding that, you know, these uh, attempts could be more destructive to your data than the actual problem that occurred. Uh, so I'm not trying to discourage anybody, again, from trying uh, to recover their data at home or um, trying to research and uh, find a solution um, based on their, you know, skills uh, from searching uh, for these things online, but um, things break and there are specific ways of, you know, figuring out uh, what's going on with them uh, the safe way and bringing it to a professional would definitely uh, give you a higher chances of getting access to this content again. Yes, it's going to cost some money but uh, at least if you find a decent shop that has a good reputation and a uh, good track record on these things, you are standing higher, way higher chances of uh, seeing this content again than uh, attempting it to do uh, so yourself at home. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you for watching. This was a surprising episode. I did not expect that this is going to be um, so quote unquote easy. Uh, but whoever messed this up, I just, uh, I'll, I'll say thanks because you know, I'm getting paid for literally just uh, adding a few uh, minutes of my time. Uh, well, let's just begin. <laughs> let's just say that yesterday I spent about an hour and a half looking for the donor. So that time has to be covered as well. Uh, but that wasn't really like me searching uh, for the shorts. Surprisingly, even though this controller was shifted, uh, all of the voltages were uh, being delivered to all different parts of the unit. To me, it seemed like everything is getting done right. We often see uh, some sort of failures on uh, uh, power supplies and things like that, where uh, we're getting 3.2, but no other voltages are showing up anywhere, for example. But in this case, like I said, we're getting 2.5, we're getting 1.2, we're getting uh, 3.2. Uh, so this um, delivery is taking place, but something was probably just disconnected on one pin on the connector, on, uh, sorry, on the controller, and that was it. It was essential uh, connection, and if it was not there, the unit would not start. So I'm um, glad we sold it, and 6% in, I think we'll pause the video here. I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a full, complete recovery because everything is just getting painted green. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode.